Welcome to episode seven of this Let's Play series. We're playing Shadow Empire. My name is Dash Tactic. And in the last episode, we did finally take Altona. It did take a little bit of time to get across all these rivers. There's so many rivers along the way. And uh, we finally broke our way through, had to go through these ruins to actually then go in and do the attack uh, into, into the actual city itself. But we've got there. We've now got all these different beasts up and through here. We're going to round them up with the, uh, with the tanks fairly soon. I will let the tanks recuperate a little bit and then we'll start to sort of then work on those. I do want this location with this hex perk. This has got a refugee camp, which will then just feed the population of the city, which is great. That's a really, really good addition. Uh, it just helps a little bit just to round things out. Now, everything that we see through here, the old Altonan forces are going to be then stripped away in the next turn. So let's just end our turn here. And we'll just let things sort of develop. These wilds are right on the road, and we're going to need to push them right back away from here. So this is going to be the next focus for us for a little while. We also have another minor faction that's now uh, presenting itself, and they've come in really, really close, which we don't want. So we're going to need to push them back away as well. Yeah, another attack going in, but we li we're killing off a lot of these forces as we do this. So we killed 700 infantry. We've got four decisions and 48, 78 reports. We've discovered metal. This is why we wanted to have the Economic Council in Bismarck. Um, total of industry assets is at three levels, which is higher and or equal to the three points we promised our subjects. This is we took this one over. So we now have another industrial assets in Altona. And so that's how we got that promise. That was actually from episode four, I think. So quite some time ago, maybe episode five, like it was a couple of episodes back before we actually had that one. We've got the Conquest of Altona, so we end up with a Fate Pack awarded and a, and a new Fate Point. Uh, we've got the Discover, dis, like we've actually now got our small rover, which is actually much, much stronger than what the old rover design actually was. We'll have to have a look and see what you know what its ratings are, if, if it's actually worth keeping. Uh, this is the Fate Points we picked up. We do have an Ancient Depot there. These can be useful, but I think I'm gonna, just gonna keep things back a little bit. Now we've got the uh, another civilian that we can sort of now go and grab. Uh, scientific cooperation if we were sort of using... Uh, I don't tend to use the Foreign Affairs Council. Uh, here we go. Now that that one that we discovered has now the um, the, the, the the guys in Bismarck, the, the private enterprise, have decided that they want to actually now run this particular mine. I'm going to let them do that for a little while. Um, I would have liked to have taken it myself, but they've actually they've gone and done that. When you allow them to have their own say in what goes on, uh, it does allow them then to have more income to then be able to spend on on building up the cities. And so it's not a bad thing to allow them to do this if you can afford to. Now I'm a little bit concerned for the simple reason that this is actually something that in reality i would have liked to have had the metal myself but i'm sort of hopeful that we'll find other metal and then we can just go after more metal ourselves and i do i don't mind having the road because i was going to build a road down here anyway at some point uh which allows me now to bring this this guy across because we'll now actually have supplies running all the way down through here let's just move across yep so there's something else down here we don't know what that actually is but this will have uh and we do need to now protect this from the creatures that are out and about and so we're seeing that there's more movement now in through this other side. We'll need to bring the greens down through this side as well. Uh, we've got more greens this way. Let's just bring them back down. Okay, there we go. We're pushing the borders back a little bit. And I'll just keep them coming back down. Keep green running this side. And we then got the beasts up this way. Yeah, we got, uh, here we go. We've got another city back over here. So, and this one looks good as well. This looks very, very good. Okay, well we might we might just deal with the beasts and then we'll go after this because we need to like th this is going to freak out uh, in our toner. We're going to start to see that there's going to be unrest will go up and danger will go up. So they're seeing danger has increased with 24 points due to presence of enemies near the assets or the city of the zone. So all of the assets happen to be in Altona, but they've got to be at least two back before they don't get freaked out by having things this close. And so we do have to sort of be mindful of that. Um, right, well, we've got a few things we can now go and do. One thing I do want to do is actually use some of the armoured cars. 
So we're sort of now in a bit of a position where we now need to sort of focus on Altona a little bit. I don't like that these guys have come in so close. We don't know anything at all about these guys. They're, oh, they're Raiders. Okay, they're going to get a little bit freaky out, uh, freaky as well. So let's go and move the Reds back out a little bit closer. We're going to be able to deal with them very easily with these. Let's build. Again, we have to sort of be mindful of the roads. Um, let's move out this way, and we'll start to sort of use these to start to sort of surround the other the other units a little bit. Again, we've got armor, we've got uh, good armor on these these guys. And what have we got in there? We've got 108, so we know that there's nothing in there. We've only got 33 on that one. We don't we don't know about that one, but we do want to surround these. So they're moving off, and we've got the third back in through here. Now we've this is all still un, uh, like uh, non-aligned forces, so there couldn't there can be beasts that can then come running back up. Let's just move these down a little bit. There's something in here, something somewhere in, in one of these locations. Let's just move them across as well. Now one thing we're going to find is we've actually now picked up all of these new locations, and we we may find some really good stuff in there if we if we're lucky. So there's two big big towns that we've actually now been able to isolate in the forest. I'm going to move this one up and just start to sort of move that one back. Now we don't have any supply back up into here and I think we're going to need to start to look at that. We've got industrial points now that are quite healthy because of Altona now as well. We've got four decisions. Merchant Society demands that you hire their candidate. Yep, we'll go and do that. He's unhappy. This is the commander of the SHQ. He's in charge of this particular faction. Yes, sir. So we'll accept that. And we've got another thing we can now do with the Model Design Council. The next thing we wanted to build up was the machine gun group. Oh, hang on. We we're going to have a quick look to see if the buggy is worthwhile. So we'll go back to models. 106. This is this is ideal. Now, we actually don't have... If I go and click on these, um, you can see the uh, table of... Uh, Table of equipment for the selected unit, the Rover and the Crossbilly. We don't actually have any of those. Just to put that into perspective, I've go to infantry. Actually, I'm sorry, I need to go to all. <laughs> Select those. We can see where the where the infantry has been sort of spread out. We've got some in the first machine gun. We've got uh, a fair bit in the second second light infantry, and uh, we've got uh, 39 of them in the in the third light. Now I do need to get replacements for these guys. We couldn't get all of them in that particular group. In the guards units, we actually still have a thousand in the second, and we have uh, 27, uh, 2700 in the first machine gun. So they also need to be fixed up and made into riflemen before we can make, then make them obsolete. But the buggies, we have basically nothing and nothing. So again, I just clicked on all just to see if we had any. So with that one, I'm going to go back to quality. I don't want to see this recon buggy at all, the cross billy. I'm going to make that one obsolete just so we don't have to see it. You can see there the combat difference. The, uh, the cost is not that great, but the actual combat abilities are, well, much more than double, maybe triple, triple the actual combat abilities. And so this is a very, very good design and it uses less fuel than this one as well. So much, much better uh, a buggy for us, for, for what we actually sort of do need. Now we're gonna need a few of these. Um, what we'll do is we'll just go back to the map and so the model design, we're going to go back to the machine gun now and start to build one of these. Now, I do know that the whirlwind that we actually, the current whirlwind is actually a good design. So we're going to go and select that one. We're going to change it from the advanced machine gun to the high speed machine gun. And we're going to go to combat okay, armor. There we go. So that will now be built. And we can then upgrade those units as well. Now, the new governor, uh, this is Maggie, who we brought in before. She was, the, she was a civilian character that we brought in to actually move in either to take on over that council or to look after Altona. Altona is a pretty important city for us. So we're going to appoint her into that into that role. A military advice is requested. So the president of Kirkwall Confederation has requested us to supply him with a few dozen military advisors. Now, you see there that our money is still... Okay. Um, I'm going to go no. I'm going to go no here because I don't want the autocracy to go up. And also, I don't want to be friends with them. Oh, they do offer to pay 440 credits. Now we've got a lot of we've got a lot in here that we can sell the rare metals. So I don't think we still don't think we need to. I want to be at war with them fairly soon. So I'm just going to go no. That gets our relation down, makes it quite negative. And um, I will move this, the leadership into there. So we've got like one group in there, one group in there. 
that will sort of help. Um, now, we still don't have enough that we can sort of see back in through that other side. Now, what we want to do is, I think I want to be focusing with the armoured cars back up this way. So I'm going to move the armoured cars and build them. If I just press number one, now I've got the logistics turned on. If I just press the L key, turn it on or off. This is just showing me how much logistics. Now, it's going to be whatever the minimum amount is, whether we can actually build it from, from the SHQ at Bismarck. As long as it's it's healthy, got got healthy numbers, which it does have, all the way to Altona, that actually works fairly well. So we'll just go into here, just press number one, and I want to get two or three of these of these little cross uh, of not the cross billies, but they're buggies. And so we're just going to go to race formation. In this case, we don't actually have any cross billies in through here, so I'm going to go into independent, and the buggies should be on the next page. Independent recon battalion. It's going to cost me 140. I've got 250. So I can actually get five of them. So I can get like one group now. And just 50 rovers. Raise the formation. We're ready to go. So that's one group. And I can just go back and grab another one as well. I, could, I won't be able to get all five in the next group. But this just raise the formation. In fact, what I should be doing is... Um, I might not do that actually. Let's just go back into replacement troops. We've got 1600 riflemen that we need to be getting. So we need to get 16 of those just to fill up the gaps. So we'll produce those. Everything else is actually okay at this point in time. So that will then replenish the forces that we actually have in through here. They won't replace the units that were back this way. And uh, I think we just leave that where that is. So that's actually all looking pretty reasonable. We've only got the one buggy that we can actually now make use of in this next attack. Uh, these guys here are going to be a problem. Um, they may declare war sooner rather than later. So we're going to need to get more forces, more of these red forces across back into the city. And so we'll use red to help protect. And also we'll use red with the tanks to sort of then finish off these guys. So let's go and uh, leave that one where that is. So we'll just go and end our turn. If we didn't have a good look at these, we might have a look and see what they've got. There's a lot of worm creatures that we're sort of dealing with on this particular planet. Now, what we don't want is for these cities to be taken over by the beasts. We do want to get whatever's, whatever was in here. These guys may also come down and take these as well from us. Yep, there they go. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're moving a lot of forces in. They're going to get aggressive very, very quickly. And they took the other one took the other, the other uh, creatures as well, so we didn't get the benefit of it. Okay, our total bureaucratic assets now reached five levels. That's good. We've got the new whirlwind too. We've got uh, new tech, VidCon Broadcasting. That's another entertainment factor that we can now bring in. We found, actually, a scout's found in Alt Altona, three machinery. So we actually, that was in Altona itself. Um, that's all okay. Yep, nothing else in there that we really need. That silver retirement may come in useful. You can see through there, we've just got like this, this thing has now been built. And we do actually now have a small town in here that we haven't had before, I don't think. But we do actually have, so I'm just going to go and sit on that one there. Um, this is now pushing back. What have we got in here? This is not more non-aligned forces. And we saw that there was something that moved across this way. Now, we did actually have, I'm pretty sure we're okay here. Let's just go and take that. Yep, there it is there. Another one down there. move these across and we'll start to sort of round these up as well we'll end up using the armored cars to deal with them so the armored car now has got much much better recon so we can sort of see what it can then get up to so we're just going to move this one up and push up away and start to surround these different creatures now we know what's in here but we need to stop them from running away from getting away from us i want to move the reds across with the protections. These have now all been filled up. Let's just start to move these up and around. Move them up. These reds, we don't need to do too much with them. I think I might just move them back into here as well. 
Now these tanks got eleven to one odds. Again, they these are very very bad against the uh, against the the tanks. This, but these are the old tanks that we actually have. Let's just do it anyway. Yes, sir. We're going in. They're doing it. They're getting hits in, but they won't be able to do much damage. And the idea here is just to push it away from the city. These really can't compete with even even with our lowly old tanks that we actually have in through here. There's nothing that they can really do. So we'll move that one up. That keeps that two away. We've got all these guys which are still freaking out Altona. Like Altona will be getting worse and worse. So that's gone up again. We're going to have to attack these actually fairly soon. There's no real choice with that. We know that we're going to have pretty good recon there, 53. Let's just go and set that one up. Um, I want to. I don't want it to go into there, so I'm just going to go and hit this guy. And again, this one shouldn't be able to attack back very well against my tanks. Mission completed. It's retreated. Retreated up into here. Now, again, I don't want it to go too far. I want, and I don't want them wandering off this way. I want to. Um, I want to push them right back uh, with what we can. So I'll leave that one where that is. So the tanks will then just be able to do what they have to do. Everything is going pretty well. Our energy is still going backwards a little bit. What we might do is we might come into our toner and have a quick look at the assets. One thing we do want to have, I can't nationalize some of these things, but I can nationalize the transport hub. If I had 500, let's just go back into the trade networks. We'll sell off the rare metals at five. That's about what we expect. But 580, they're, they're willing to buy 397, so we're going to get 2,318 credits. Yes, sir. Which is good for us. And so now with the money, we can now just go back into Altona, go to the transport hub and nationalise that. I can also disband it and then build my own, but I'll just nationalise it. Now, Altona's going to have some troubles for initially, just until we sort of get things sorted. Let's just move this one across the other side of the road. We have a bit of an opening in through here, but it won't really worry us too much. Um, that's all now all sort of working. We've got another 275 back this way. Now remember, we want to get the other industrial location back in Bismarck at some point. Get to Industry 2. This location is actually pretty damn good as well, I've got to say. I really like what this one's got inside it. It's just finished parks as well. So we're going to, we're going to find some good things in here. Just need to get rid of if I can just destroy these creatures. Um, probably not so much that one there. What's that hex perk there? Derelict spaceship. That's just going to be there for research. Uh, that's okay where that is. I might just move this one down. Now we're across the river there. That's pretty a bit of a problem that we may need to uh, come back a little bit there. This, it's very hard to get supplies across these big rivers. Everything else is sort of moving up. I do want to block this one off if we can. Now, we didn't have a good look at this mini analid. Now, this is a, um, a herbivore. It's a migrator, so it does move around to, into other areas, and it's got absorption. So it, it sort of hits off and won't register as well. But again, very, very weak against armoured cars and against tanks. So the creatures really aren't any... They're no threat to our our armored forces, but they certainly can compete a little bit against our uh, against our soldiers. Not so much the ones with the combat armor, but the early ones. They can certainly do some damage there. We are going to have to take these guys on, then we can go after their city uh, straight after that. At least that's nice and close. Four decisions. Now the Economic Council research objective. We've got Vidcom Broadcasting. There's nothing else to yes, do, sir, so we'll just go and grab that. that. That will be useful. The Model Design Council. We've now got our machine gunner. Uh, so we can actually now upgrade the machine guns. I think we'll just go back to nothing again, so no new orders. Yeah, we've got the light tank. We've got nothing else we want to be building there. Orders for the governor of Altona. Now what we want to be doing through here is just giving them a worker budget of at least five, like it's like in Bismarck. And I don't need to allow emergency food because there is actually a, a farm, a farm that's, that's located here, so they won't need it. So they'll be okay, and uh, that's all we need to do. And we're going to keep it an unincorporated zone, which means it's not part of our, our group 
And the reason that we do this is because at this stage, they're a problem for us. So we're just going to confirm these orders. We need to sort of suppress them a little bit. And we do that hopefully through, uh, in fact, military advisors requested again. So they're asking yet again. We're going to go no again. I know it's sort of impacting one of those characters, but I really want democracy to kick in because that will then make taking over this one a lot easier for us. And so uh, when we have a look at Altona, we can then sort of see that the happiness is low at 32. We don't have any workers there yet. Next term, we'll sort of start to get workers working in the uh, in some of the locations. We've got 100,000 populace, which is actually fairly big for one of these sort of towns. Uh, we need to get the population like on a like we need to get rid of first of all get rid of the danger get rid of the unrest the unrest is one of these sort of difficult ones now we do actually have troops on in the city which will suppress the unrest the uh but this danger will keep on going up and that's going to then cause unrest as well um so it, all of these sorts of things impact the what's going on with the city and we so we have to push these guys back which means we're going to have to go to war with them but let's just let's see if we can deal with these first I love just how you don't know what you're going to get when you come into a into a uh, into a game. Like you can get, uh, like you can get aliens that are really really tricky. <laughs> In this case, it's not so bad, but we still have to deal with them. We know that the aliens are going to be in this little pocket. There's, there's at least two, maybe three, back in there. There they, there they go. The 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 pink crawlers are, are fighting us, and we've got another rifle militia fought us as well. And we killed off some more of those. They've now violated our borders and declared war on us. That's fine. Because we need to have be at war with them anyway. Discover new tech, advanced sensors. So this is actually very, very good, particularly for our armoured cars. Um, discover a new model, the bazooka. Again, something we don't really need just yet, but we like it, it, that can be useful. We've got governor conventions, all sorts of different things in through here. Now we're on the edge here. Um, the the we're now starting to pick up industrial points, which is great. I'm tempted to actually go and buy this one back off them. These assets we can nationalise that for a thousand. You know, I think for the sake of getting the metal, I'm going to do it. Let's just go and make sure that so that we can actually control the metal. I need a lot of metal with what we have to then go and do. Okay, they were in there. They ambushed us. A fairly big group of uh, free folk marauders there. Just keep them where they are. This is where we need the armoured cars. Now, they've run off from this location, unfortunately. Let's just bring the armoured cars up. There's that one. I only just want to be scouting at this point in time. Right. Now, I want to go to wherever the lowest action points are. We've got 34 there, 34 there. It doesn't really matter where I go. But this one's got nowhere to run. So 22 to 1, we just do the attack. Yes, sir, we're going in. And we kill Mission those off. Completed. The other one escaped and got away. Now, we've got the attacks going back in the other side, so we'll now start to move this one back across the river. This one we don't really need to keep there, but I'll, I might just move it down, or move it at least across to here. These tanks, we're going to start to sort of round up the other forces as we sort of see them. And that's all non-aligned forces down that way. We should have... Yeah, popularly, uh, these guys here, this is a new new government position. They want us to hire Roger their candidate. That. We'll do that. Private assets reach at least 28 levels. We'll accept that. Good morning. Now, we can do that by um, by either building things for them or, or allowing, allowing them to build. They've got the bazooka. I might just start building this one. Actually, we'll go for the... Actually, no, we're getting the guided one. I'll just wait until we've got that. So we'll just go no new orders at this point in time. So that's now been done. Yeah, we've got... They may come streaming out down into here, but I think it's now a bit too far away for them. Let's just go back up. Okay. 
that's working fairly well. We are going to need to get more power. Let's just go back into our toner and we'll just go to construct and we'll go to energy. Affirmative. I just sneezed. <laughs> so I just quickly pause it just in time. So we'll build it, we'll build the power into there, which will then sort of feed into the power back over here, which will sort of then work out fairly well. We don't have any power in Altona. Um, and so we can start to sort of build up in around that way. Now, as far as the strat cards, what do we have in the zones? We've got security outpost. We can build a security outpost in Kirkwall. Actually, target zone Kirkwall. We don't own Kirkwall. We'll just go back into Altona, which is back in this, in this location. So we'll execute that stratagem. Now, hopefully, it didn't end up a way where we can't actually do anything. And we've still got two more. Now, that was the... We've already got one security outpost. What's this one do? Extra level of school for the selected zone. So that would also then be good as well for Altona. Boomtown. That just essentially raises the, um, the population, which we don't need to be doing. We're actually doing okay with population. We've got travelling teachers... We'll put this in our toner as well. <clears throat> so this is just going to start to increase the um, the quality of life in our toner. And if we go back and have another look, we'll sort of see in our toner itself the assets. Uh, there may already be a school there. Yeah, there's schools that have now just been created. Now the important thing is, what do we end up with? This is the security outpost. That's great. So it ended up in a very, very safe location. I was worried it was going to end up down in here somewhere, <laughs> which would be quite difficult for us. Um, now, we've still got a little bit in through there. We can probably get maybe even two more armoured cars. So let's go back into uh, into these locations with armoured cars. So we'll just go back into this side, just go and race formation, independent battalion of buggies. We've got one more as well because these really, they're pretty cheap. Actually, one thing you'll notice when we when we have a look, 3,700, the armoured cars, when we actually go to raise the formation, this is actually one of the reasons why I love armoured cars. Again, independent battalion, we have a look at the buggies. It costs us 500. Now, remember, we've got 3,700 over through here. 500, it's also going to cost us 1,440. We've got 394. And 120 uh, metal. We've got we've got a fair bit of metal there as well. So this is no problem. But watch in particular, watch the recruits. So the buggy itself requires 500 to build, but we get 300 back. And uh, so we'll just go and and raise this one. So we just go across and click raise the formation. So everything's 100% back and through there. And so it went from 3700 to 30 to 3500, not 3200. So the reason for that is these buggies have now come in. And if we have a look at the actual buggies themselves, the actual design is, um, is quite cool uh, because it's got, it's, it chews up a, a small amount of food, which means we can actually stay out of supply because, of, because it's now only feeding two, two actual, uh, it's, it's feeding two people essentially with what, it's, with what it's got, which means that we can actually survive for three turns uh, out in the wild. Uh, before we have to then come back in. And so similarly with fuel and everything, everything is just really, really um, good. Like it's, it works in very, very well with this particular design. So there we are. That's actually really good. That's We've now got those things done. So that's actually a, one reason to get the buggies. It's very, very cost effective with your recruits. And uh, they do a great job against the wilds. So we're going to be able to sort of use these buggies to start to hunt things down. We'll be able to move down and, and sort of claim territory that we wouldn't normally be able to claim, uh, bec you know, with, with units that are going to be in trouble out of supply. Now, we're still... We've got anything that's really in trouble? No, nothing much, really. At this stage, everything's looking pretty good. We don't know where the creature is that was in here. We're going to have to hunt that one down with more buggies. But I think that we'll um, we'll have a quick look up through here to get Wilkenberg. Um, I, I don't have really the supply to get across here easily. Now these I can actually sort of push out. I'm going to wait for this tank to come through and then we'll start to hit these from different angles. Let's just move this one down a little bit. Leave that one where that is. That one I can move down just so we can sort of cross this bridge, make it a little bit easier to get, a, get to get over. And uh, that's about all we need to do with that one, I think. So we've uh, we've got uh, that turn out of the way. 
and then we just need to start to put pressure on this next area of road. We can now use the armoured cars to sort of deal with the wilds or we just bring out other forces just to protect the road. The roads are all important. Like if you're playing the game and you're wondering why, you know, all of your creatures are dying and stuff, it'll, it'll often be because of the um, because of what's happening in the, in, with the roads. Now we're on the other side of the river, which is probably where we should have been ultimately. Pink crawler down here is a problem. Now this one in through here has now hit our riflemen. We did lose two of them. That chrysalis has sort of wandered in and it then lost another group. Should we, yeah, that's okay. They're going again. Rifle militia are now attacking from there. So we killed 2,100 infantry, lost 300, and 10 motorised, which is the trucks. We found a fuel deposits. Now, I think I'll actually allow the... Um, this is in Altona. I'll allow the private sector to actually go and, and do that one. Um, that's all okay. Now we're up to 2,000 with 370 coming back in now, which is actually fairly good. This thing has now wandered back across. Let's just keep this one under control. Just keep that one surrounded. We can't do much with that one until we bring armoured cars down. Then we should be able to start to sort of do some, uh, have some fun with it. Now we know that there's something up in here, but we don't know exactly where. Okay, there's a fair few in there. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've lost a, a group in through that side. I'm just going to move this one back. I'm going to move this one back down. There we go. We've got the pink guys down the bottom there. Um, let's move these up. Now it's time to take this road and start pushing. We've got a few more rivers to cross, another major river down through here. It may be even better to go this way and take this, but we still want that road. We're still going to need this road eventually. So can we isolate any of these? And I don't know if we can. Let's just move across. We're going to have good numbers initially. Yes, sir. We're going in. Remember, these are all set to Blitzkrieg, so we've got like a lot of abilities, a lot of a lot of combat abilities, and a lot of uh, action points. That one sort of ran out of action points. Now, again, these aren't going to be able to attack. Although we've got the old blitzers in through here, um, maybe what I should do is get a new group of blitzers just to replace these old ones. Let's still attack and see how we go. Yeah, so we're doing good damage, and we are pushing them back fairly effectively. And we can just keep on keep on rolling on through here. This is the cavalry. And these are the old designs. Mission completed. We go that way. We've got too many to to contend with. That's the objective there. I think I'll just leave that one where that is now. But Altona where it is. We want to keep these where they are. So that's actually fine where that is. We move this one across. Uh, we've got 4,000 there. Got good supply coming back through. What I want to do is I want to get a garrison group just for the city itself. That will then free up the Reds to continue on with what they're doing. So let's just go in and uh, they're not going to be able to break into into this area. So we're pretty much, we're pretty secure with the two that groups that we actually have in through there. Uh, let's just move, actually, with the blitzers, what have we got? We've got um, two of the old ones and five. We need to get seven of them ultimately. Let's go and do that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to replacement troops and we're going to go and get seven light armour, even though we don't need them. The, the old blitzers, blitzer twos, if we can get seven, we'll get five. Let's just do it. It's going to use up all of the um, all of the industrial points. Actually, I should have got some infantry there with that. I don't know if I can still still get any. Oh yeah, let's just get a few few extras. Right, that's done. So um, and then what we'll do is we can now go back and and replace the units that are actually in here. And this is another aspect of uh, of doing what we're doing. We've got supply back to Altona. We should be safe enough. It looks like it's all green. So we go back to the blitzers. And I think we'll just do a replace in through this side. And so I won't do a mass replace because we've only got the five. So I'm going to use all five to go into this location. We've got uh, blitzers back in through there. How many are we going to replace? We're going to replace all five of them. 
And so we've got the logistics. The logistics cost to move these into the into position are 250. So we're moving them from the SHQ now out to the front, and we're moving the other ones back. We do a yes, replace. Sir. So we replace five blitzers with blitzer twos in one unit. So what that's now done is it's now changed. The, the graphic hasn't changed yet, but these are now blitzer twos, which are so much more powerful. So that's now gone back, and what's happened is they've now done a swap. And the old ones are now back in here in the SHQ, the old blitzer, the old blitzers. We now go back to here and we just do a scrap of these blitzers. So we're going to split, we're going to scrap all five of these. We get returning soldiers, we get returning uh, equipment as well. So some of the uh, some of the metal will then come back yes, as well. Sir. So we scrap these. We've got um, uh, yep, scrapping gave the following items: 128 metal. Uh, note these items were given to the zone infantry unless the troops scrapped were in an, in an SHQ. Note that if the scrapping takes place outside the zone, yeah, that's okay. We, we, everything was actually fine. Uh, 500 population has been returned to the zone or to the free folk. It's returned to the zone. So we've got, uh, we've got more population back into Bismarck. And uh, that's been done. If we don't get anything back with the industrial points, that's sort of spent to actually go and build it. But that's now, we've now done a good swap. We've just got two more units. Next turn, that will then become a different sort of group. We'll have a quick look in through here. Policy speech. Uh, we want that to go up to 18. That's easy done. Um, industrial assets reach at least four levels, which we do want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click that one because Roger we do that. want industry. We definitely want that one. Uh, Supreme Command Council Task Priorities. I'm just going to keep that one at 50-50, so no changes there. And we are basically ready to roll again. So I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, if you've got any questions, um, actually, first of all, if you've got any questions, by all means, leave leave comments. But also have a look at the Matrix Forum. There's some really, really knowledgeable people that are actually um, will actually can answer a lot of the questions uh, for you, uh, if you do have any questions about the game, and they're, they're very respectful, like they know that the game is not a game that's for everybody, and they also know that some people are really, you know, having a hard time with the game itself. So by all means, um, you know, partake in that particular forum. That's a, that's a great place to um, to go and get information. But also in the comments as well, like you'll often find that people will sort of help out with the comments here if you've got anything particular that you're uh, struggling with. Uh, and also you can actually join my Discord as well, which is a, a link in the description where you can actually sort of go and uh, ask questions. I should actually say all that stuff at the start of the episodes. <laughs> and buy the merchandise and get all that sort of stuff and like and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'll catch you next time.